It's been a great few weeks for the New Saints women, Andy, with your side picking up consecutive wins against Port Talbot Town and Barrytown United. They were important wins as well because they've kept your side very much in touch at the bottom of the table. Well, I think the wins have been long in the making. That's the first thing. And I think they've been just reward for not only the work that the players, the team have put in, but also for everybody at the club. I know a lot of people have invested a significant amount of time, effort, energy, enthusiasm, uh, trying to push us in the right direction. And with, as I say, everybody pushing in that direction, finally things are starting to fit together and come together. It's been really a privilege to be part of that, to witness the progression that we've made. I've sat here many times and talked about those small wins that we've been getting without getting the actual physical game results in the three points. And we're at that stage of the season where those three points are absolutely essential. You've just mentioned the word important. I think without those two wins over the last uh, three, two weeks, you know, we'd, uh, we'd probably already be relegated. So it justifi justifiably keeps uh, everything in our own hands. It's up to ourselves now to capitalise on that, to realise that the job is not yet done. There is still much more still to be done before the end of the season and there's a lot of football left and we've got to be ready and prepared to continue to deliver in the same vein. It's also the first time this season that the team has won consecutive matches. Um, what would you put the side's recent upturn in form down to? Well, as I say, you know, a lot of hard effort, the fact that we're all pulling in the same direction, the fact that sometimes a process does take some time. You know, unfortunately, there are only two games left. You know, we feel as though we're only just getting going and could do with another six, eight or ten games this season to justify, you know, who we are and what we are and what we're all about. But in terms of those two wins, I think the pivotal thing is the character of the players when they've needed to step up, they've stepped up. We've had some really great performances this season. We've had some good wins this, this season. Unfortunately, as you say, we've not been able to put back-to-back -back games together. I think, uh, again, I've gone on record uh, uh, in these sort of press conferences as saying that that is the challenge for anybody that's in this league to be more consistent and to deliver week on week or game on game and we found that incredibly difficult for one reason or another you know we we're low on player resources we also don't have that base level of fitness and that base level of experience that perhaps other teams do at this level and i think that's shown at times it's taken us a while to build that capital within the team we're not there yet of course you know two wins uh, you know doesn't signify a season so there's an awful lot still yet to do this weekend, it's our final away game this season in the Gennaro Advent Premier, travelling to Pontypridd Town. When we visited USW Sports Park back in October, it was a really evenly matched game and we were perhaps unlucky not to come away with all three points. Are you expecting something similar this time around? Well, you never ever can tell, can you? You know, on that day we acquitted ourselves well. We've just said that, you know, on our day we can give anybody a game. You know, we're a match for most teams in this league. The unfortunate thing is when Pontypridd came here a month or so ago, we weren't up to scratch. They were a little bit better than us on the day uh, and justifiably walked away with three points, whether it was a 4-1 scoreline, I'm not sure. But, you know, with quarter of an hour to go at 3-1 when we missed the penalty, it was certainly game on. So uh, in terms of ourselves, we know what we've got to produce this weekend. So uh, it'll be tight. It'll be competitive. You know, we're not going to give anything up lightly. Um, it's... Uh, you know, going to be hard to call what can happen. We're just going to do everything in our power to keep it in our favour. You touched on it yourself a little bit there. We lost 4-1 to Pontypridd earlier in March. Does uh, getting a result like that make players more determined to want to go out there and prove a point? Well, I hope so, because Pontypridd are one of the few sides that we've not beaten this season. You know, they won here on the first day of the season when we weren't ready and they were comfortable 2-1 winners. I think 2-1 flattered us on the day. You've pointed out when we went there uh, at the end of October, November, uh, it was a completely different game. We were ready for that occasion. We were ready for that moment. We acquitted ourselves really, really well. Uh, I walked away at the end of that game uh, really, really disappointed because I felt as though we'd thrown two points away because with 10 minutes to go, we were one up and we should have had the game out of sight at two or three and we didn't and it came back to bite us. So obviously we've learnt from that. We've learnt from similar moments this season. So, you know, let's just wait and see what happens this weekend and... Uh, you know, I'll answer that question next week, maybe. And whatever happens results-wise this weekend, nothing will be decided in terms of relegation. The season is definitely going to go down to the wire. Is there anything in particular that you'd be saying to the players, perhaps, to try and prevent any nerves ahead of what is 
possibly one of the biggest games of their career. Well, to all intents and purposes, that's the job of the coach to send the players out onto the pitch in a good frame of mind whereby they feel no pressure, they feel no stress because ultimately any athlete will tell you that the minute you're feeling stress and pressure is your game starts to fall apart. So at the end of the day, it's a game of football. There's a lot of issues going on in the world today. People have got an awful lot of things going on in their private lives. You know, I'm sure there's a lot more important things that people can worry about in terms of you know uh, their lives rather than the game of football but for us obviously it's important it does matter you know and it'll matter to the girls and I think they've shown that over the last couple of games with regards to going to the last game of the season that's good uh, in the sense that it means that we're still in it but for us we've got to keep it in our own hands so we know what we've got to do this weekend to make sure that the last game if, if we win we stay up whereas you know depending on results this weekend we could still win our last game of the season and go down so we, we've got to make sure that everything's in our own hands uh, come Sunday night this week. We've still got a few days to go before the game in South Wales have you already decided on your starting lineup and approach to the game or are you open to influence by what you see this week in training? Yeah I mean in terms of sort of like the style of football that we'll play we know exactly how we need to play against Pontypridd in this uh, one-off game this weekend so that's what we'll be working on over the next couple of training sessions the big issue in terms of formation and in terms of selection is that we are carrying illness and injury at the moment so at this stage in the week uh, we still don't know potentially what the starting lineup is going to be for Sunday so that obviously throws a you know a couple of questions out there for me as the coach and the players in terms of getting that resolved as quickly as we can and knowing where we're going for but you know We've been in this uh, situation several times this season, so it's out of your control at the moment as a coach. you just got to relax and just go with the flow and then see what the weekend brings and be ready. And finally, Andy, it's the question we always ask. I know you've just touched on it a little bit there, but how are things looking in terms of injury and availability going into Sunday's important game? Well, we'll uh, we're certainly looking at three or four at the moment, uh, monitoring them and hoping that they are uh, presenting themselves available and ready. Uh, to go for Sunday so uh, it, we could have a full selection hit we might be thin on the ground so we'll have to wait and see as I say you know that's the coach's lot you can only control what you can control and we'll go with whatever I'm sure that whoever the 11 are that are on the pitch at any given time whoever in the match day squad they will do their uh, selves proud they will do their team proud and they'll look after their teammates to do the best that they possibly can.